Now, being the type of YouTuber slash streamer that I am, right? Normally for me, I don't like spoilers. I don't like anything like that. However, there's something with the gotcha community that we just know is always apparent. That's leakers. And I say this as a blessing and a curse. Sometimes leaks are fantastic and it gets people hyped up. Like for instance, with, you know, Dokkan Battle before there was the little, you know, merge free between uh, Global and JP. We as Global players would be able to see what was coming up in the JP section. Like we'd see, oh, hey, they got anniversary going on. Oh, these are the units that we're gonna be saving for. This is awesome. Fantastic, right? That's not the case with a lot of games. Now, I'm referencing this to Star Rail. And the reason being is because I have a very distinct loathing of the Honkai Star Rail leaks that go on. And there's a lot to it. I'm gonna unpack my personal feelings with this video, but also talk about some instances that occurred recently. And yeah, if, if it turns out that some of these leaks are true, then I'm sorry. Uh, just so that you know, if you want to wait until, you know, 2.6 actually, you know, goes through or 2.7 and all that good stuff, then please take the time to pause this video, come back to it later. I absolutely understand. Um, and if somehow a Hoyoverse employee sees this and gets mad at me for talking about leaks, um, sorry, uh, I don't know if this is actually like true leaks or not. This is just my personal opinions on said leaks and how I feel about them in general. And yes, I do talk about leaks with my friends. I think, I think honestly, most creators do. I think that the people who say that they don't are very disingenuous and I'm not gonna lie about it. Um, I do make jokes on my stream with Mika about, uh, oh, I had a dream about this or I had a dream about this because you have to be careful with certain stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of rambling at the beginning. Let's go ahead and first get the intro out of the way. If you like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Blah, 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 blah. What the heck? If you like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Honkai Star Wars video comes out. And of course, leave a comment. Don't forget to check out the ever wonderful gamer subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. This week, we are doing a free shipping with creator codes. So if you have been on the fence of trying out gamer subs, trust me, I wouldn't have as much stuff of gamer subs. Don't mind the play right there. I wouldn't have as much gamer subs right there if I didn't believe in the product, right? It looks small, but it's actually very big. So, just like me, I look small, but I'm fat as fuck. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and dive in. So, I'm gonna show you guys that I am. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. By the way, shout out to Stray, one of my editors on the channel. Uh, big shout out to you for taking on as much work as you have recently. We had a lot of videos to catch up on and still more videos to come. So, big shout out to him. Check out Dokkan Lo-Fi, dude. Look at this. Stray Mike. Look at this guy. Fantastic. Mwah. Love you, baby. Anyways, as you can see, I'm on the Honkai Star Wars Leaks Reddit. And I'm using this as kind of a reference, right? So, bear with me as we go through this. Now, I take a look at leaks every once in a while. I don't go out of my way for them. If my friends tell me about it, my friends tell me about it. If, you know, viewers tell me about it in streams, it's whatever. I don't care. I don't believe leaks until I see them either in the beta tests or when they're released, right? And I think that's what everybody should do in general. And here's the reason why. Many times during Honkai Star Rail's release, we have seen so many people leak story-driven content. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves, right? I get that people are like super excited and these leakers are finding out about stuff, but um, what really ticks me off, and I'm gonna put this as well because I did find out about this, and yeah, it, it might have made my initial reaction to it on stream a little bit disingenuous, but I didn't believe it until I saw it. You know what I mean? But I knew of it. It was when we were first going through Honkai Star Rail and we found out that Fentilia was assuming the role of Ting Yoon. And Ting Yoon's gonna play a big role in this video because we're gonna talk about that as well. Now, when I first heard about this, I was extremely upset, only not because of the character like dying, which I still don't think she's dead, um, but more so the fact that the story was spoiled. And initially I was like, it, it could be wrong. We could, we could get something completely different. It could be, you know, Herda somehow descended upon the 
Zienjo and freaking was actually a puppet for Fantilia all along and all this other crap. Um, no, that's not what it was. It was exactly what the leaker did. And I went into it with the sense of just trying not to believe it until I saw it. And even when it happened, it was bittersweet. I freaked out because I didn't expect them to animate it as good as they did, which is still one of my favorite cutscenes, even though Ting Yoon's one of my favorite characters. I didn't want to see her neck snapped. That scene was amazing. 100%. And Hawkeye Star Rail, do stuff like that again. Like, it's insane how well they do these stories, right? Um, however, I after that stream, I, I got out of it and I was feeling a little bit um, upset. I'm a very story-liking -like person, right? And sometimes that may not come through with some of the stuff, like when I skip a bunch of dialogue in Genshin Impact, or when I skip a bunch of side dialogue in, in a lot of games I play. Even Elden Ring, I skip a bunch of side dialogue. And it's only because of the fact that I take time outside of the stream to watch, like, lore videos and all that other stuff. Sometimes it doesn't retain. Sometimes I'm still an idiot, but it is what it is. But I do love the main story. Of, every, of most games I play, you know, and that's that's what sucked at that time is because that was main story. I was looking forward to it. I was like, there's something wrong with Ting Yoon. There's something wrong with Ting Yoon. I love her to death. She's hot AF. I, I, I won this. I won this Ting Yoon thing at, uh, at, 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 I think it was Anime Impulse I got this one. Um, But yeah, I loved Ting Yoon and I knew something was up and it just sucked that that got spoiled for me. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people were very upset at these leakers for spoiling the story. And now some people don't care. And that's perfectly fine. I, It is what it is. But it sucks because the circles are so intertwined on like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all this stuff that you will never truly not avoid a spoiler. It, it, it's just fact. Like, Elden Ring for me, it got spoiled that Radon was the last boss. Then Mikola just jumps up and becomes some sort of weirdo, like, trolling people's emotions like that. Um, but yeah, that's the first point, is that leaks are harmful in the sense of story-driven content. Now, if you are a leaker, right, and, you, and you're hearing me say this and you're like, this guy's full of crap, you are more than entitled to your opinion. But I think what you're doing is souring the experience for many players because of that story-driven content. Kits are whatever to me. If you if, if if it is announced that like this is what I think leaks should be like, right? A character gets announced, right? Like take Rappa for example. Rappa just got announced. Then it should be that the leaks are coming from the beta test. That way, you know it is what it is. But we should keep story-driven stuff out of it. I really, truly think that way. And maybe maybe I'm just a hurt little freaking uh, doughboy, right? That's like super upset and super in his own feelings about this stuff. But I truly feel that every time I've talked to somebody who like likes the leaks that are for story and stuff like that, really are just either insanely boring to be around or they are just always upset at everything about life. I, I have not met somebody who loves to spoil the story for themselves like going in and finding leaks and finding all this stuff and doesn't seem like the person or i haven't found somebody that does that and then seems like a overall jolly happy-go-lucky person right it just seems like you know it's very negative emotions and then when they get out of that and they're spoiled of the story they're telling everybody because they want everybody else to feel as bad as they do about it and that's what sucks because that is very hurtful type stuff to do to people, especially for me who likes the stories. I've rambled on about that specific topic, but let's go ahead and move on to what was going on these last two weeks and what has been itching at my freaking ear. These last two weeks, there was a massive leak from one leaker who was very new, or at least that's what it seemed to a lot of people, it was either a new account or just random, like random out of the blue leaker that's like, hey, I have access to Hoyo versus headquarters of the HSR department. And to me, that's already kind of, kind of weird, right? 
somebody who just came out of the blue and you guys are gonna believe it right out the gate and he leaked a bunch of stuff like he was like yeah ting yoon comes back in 2.7 and oh yeah we're getting sunday and he joins the galactic rangers and blah 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 which i already kind of have a theory about sunday joint or not the galactic rangers but uh the stellaron hunters that's what it was i'm done but i already had kind of like a theory about that it's kind of basically almost confirmed that that's what's going to happen but essentially to me and i got talked to by a couple friends i got a couple people from off the off the cuff talking to me about it and i'm just like sitting here and i'm like guys why are you telling me this because you know for a fact i don't believe anything and i think that every single person should go into like reddits like this right with a grain of mother freaking salt right and i had to censor but you know you go through this stuff and it's like you know stuff like this yun lee boss battle we're gonna get a yun like we're getting a yun lee boss battle hmm? right we're gonna get that i don't know if it's gonna be a main one but it is what it is we're getting stuff like you know oh heard a super special um what was it she's gonna inherit uh the the erudition you know aeon and i'm just like bro listen i look at these leaks with a grain of salt and it's because of the fact that there is nothing guaranteed and even even if these leaks are correct whole universe could look at this and be like well let's go ahead and do something different they could switch on a dime and yeah they probably have content created for the next four to five years right it's highly possible look at genshin impact it's been going strong honkai honkai star rail it's probably going to be going on for just as long, if not longer. To me, I feel like looking at these leaks and taking them at like, you know, what they are would be more beneficial because it's not confirmed. None of these people who are leaking are confirmed to be correct. And I even say that for the people who have been batting like eight out of 10, you know, batting at like what freaking I, I don't I don't want understand baseball logic and all that stuff but even the people who are correct 80 percent of the time 90 percent of the time here's my thing right you could be right but i don't believe you are a leaker until i see that stuff right there how are you getting leaks from hoyovers how are you a part of their team how are you able to get into those messaging groups, whether it be their email chains or anything like that, where they're emailing each other? Are you in the office? Are you doing this? Why do I, why should I believe you? You have no credibility whatsoever. And I think that a lot of people get into this mindset of like, oh, well, they were right about, you know, Hu Tao being, you know, a, a, a small, a smaller woman, you know, oh, they were right about, you know, Yao Yao, even though she was kind of in there in Genshin Impact for a long, long time, she came out later. We already knew that was gonna, like, I don't care. There is nothing to these leakers, in my personal opinion, that is credible in any way shape or form and to the to the leakers that might watch this and get upsetty spaghetti i'm sorry i'm not calling you liars i'm just saying to me at face value you have no credibility and overall if you are somebody who is in with hoyoverse right and is actually getting these leaks from somebody off there one you're putting their job at risk whether, whether they came to you or you got came to them like their job's at risk and that's livelihood that I would never put on anybody, right? I would never want to take somebody's livelihood unless they've done something completely horrible. Looking at you, pedophiles and freaking murderers, right? But you're putting their job on the line. Whether you're wanting to hear the leaks or not, you should be telling them like, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. That's confidential. Yes, maybe I'm a goody goody two shoes. I don't care, right? I really don't care. But to me, like, you have that, and then you also are like, you have no way to really prove it without, like, doxing how it goes, you know, how the process is. So to me, like, I feel as though, regardless of everything, if you're going to leak, and you leak, you know, just really anything, it's just fucking annoying, right? I didn't censor myself that time. I'm just so frustrated with this. I'm, I'm trying to get back on track. Overall, my whole point is that if you're looking at the leaks from the beta tests that's whatever that's stuff that's confirmed if it's if you're trying to get spoiled on story stuff i feel bad for you because you're not enjoying the story in my personal opinion you're just 
setting yourself up to go through and you just be like, yeah, I'm bored now. Um, if you are a leaker that spoils story, um, I hate you. <laughs> Maybe hate's a strong word. But I strongly dislike what you're doing, and I think that ultimately it's really tough because I'm I'm inviting people right now to spoil stuff for me. And I know that, like, you guys know that that's not my intention with this, but that's what's probably going to happen. Is that people are going to be like, oh, this guy doesn't like leaks. We're going to go ahead and leak everything to him just so that we can piss him off. And that's whatever. It's going to happen. You know, I'm opening myself up to this because I want to be true and honest to me and true to, and honest to what I feel about the games. Because, yeah, it's a billion dollar company. Nobody gives a crap if you hurt the feelings of the billion dollar company. But there are people like me who enjoy the story. Like, I'll give you I'll give you kind of an example, right? My roommate knew I was playing Honkai Star World from the get-go. He just recently started an account. And he is loving the story. Loving the game. And here I am, and I'm trying to tell him, like, Oh, dude, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. And he normally doesn't care about spoilers. He normally doesn't. So for me, I still take, I reserve myself and I'm like, listen, I know a bunch of stuff. But I want you to experience it. And I want you to feel it. I want you to be a part of it. I love that. I love that when it comes to a good story. So ultimately it is what it is. I'm not going to be able to stop leakers. Me voicing out my opinions probably not gonna matter people are gonna be like this boomer is really gonna sit here and tell us not to leak stuff we're gonna just go ahead and make it worse for him we're gonna do this we're gonna do that or maybe they just don't care they're gonna be like whatever freaking ginger bearded douche ginger bearded loser you're on the you're on youtube talking about a gotcha game and you're bald <laughs> but no Overall, my my opinion is, is like, if you're going and looking at the leaks for the betas, I don't care personally. I think that, like, I look at kits. I look at all that stuff. If you're looking at the story leaks, I think you're spoiling it for yourself. I'm not doing it, and I would hope that nobody else does it to me. But then again, this is the internet, and I can't really expect people not to. Um, if you are the person leaking story, I think you should really consider what you're doing and stick to the kits. Like, kits or whatever. Stick to stick to that, but my overall advice to the people who are looking to these, like to the Reddits and looking at all this stuff and the leaks and all that, why believe it at first sight? Why? You're literally just getting your hopes up and then they're gonna crumble down. Simple as that. But that's gonna be it. That's really all I got for this. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if this video gets me a lot of flack. It is what it is. I'll take the L. I'll be that guy. I don't care. Right? It, it, in the words of many, many content creators before me, like, if you don't, if you're not true to yourself, then, you know, you're not really going to do anything. Make that video that might be a controversial take. And that this is mine. I think leaks are hurting. And I think it's mainly the story leaks. That's really it. Anyway, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.